Hello, this is Amar Adel and today we're talking about writing styles. A writer's style is a reflection of his or her personality, unique voice, and a way of approaching the audience and readers. However, every piece writers write is for a specific purpose. For example, writers may want to explain how something works or persuade people to agree with their point of view. Why there are as many writers as styles and there are writers that are only for general purposes. The first one is expository writing. Well, in this type, it explains or informs. It talks about a subject without giving opinions. Expository writing's main purpose is to explain. It is a subject-oriented writing style in which authors focus on telling you about a given topic or subject without voicing their personal opinions. This is one of the most common types of writing. You always see it in textbooks, how-to articles. The author just tells you about a given subject such as how to do something. The key points. 1. Usually explain something in a process. So, the expository writing explains something in a process, is often equipped with facts and figures, is usually in a logical order and sequence. So, when you would use expository writing? In textbooks, writing, how-to mm -hmm. articles, recipes, business, technical, or scientific writing. So, let's see this example here. Many people associate the taste of pumpkins with fall. In October, companies from Starbucks to McDonald's roll out their pumpkin-flavored lattes and desserts. Here is how to make an easy pumpkin buy using only five ingredients. First, make sure you have all of the ingredients. So, this writing is expository because it's explaining. In this case, you can already tell the piece will be about how to make a pumpkin pie. But if we look here at this example, everyone knows that the best part about fall is all of the pumpkin flavored desserts. Pumpkin pie is the best fall treat because it's not only delicious, but also nutritious. Pumpkin is filled with vitamin A, which is essential for a healthy immune system and good vision. So this one is not expo so this one is not expository. Why? Because several opinions are stated, such as pumpkin pie is the best fall treat. Although this uh, uh, paragraph contains a fact about pumpkin containing vitamin A, that fact is used as evidence to support the opinion. These opinions make then make this an example of persuasive writing and not expository one. So, the next one is a descriptive style. Descriptive writing focuses on communicating the details of a character, event, or place. Descriptive writing's main purpose is to describe a character, an event, or a place in great detail. It can be poetic also. So, let's imagine that we're talking about this vampire. In a good descriptive writing, the author will not just his lover, no, he or she would change the sentence focusing on more details and descriptions, like the bloody red-eyed vampire sunk his rust-colored teeth into the soft skin of his lover and ended her life. So we can see here the change of the descriptive language. The key points. The descriptive language or the descriptive writing is often poetic in nature. It describes places, people, events, situations, or location in a highly detailed manner. The author visualizes what he or she sees, hears, tastes, smiles, and feels. So, when would we use the descriptive writing? In poetry, journal or diary writing, nature writing, descriptive passage, and fiction. Let's see the example here. The iPhone 6 is unexpectedly light, wide sighted than those of the iPhones that came before, it's thinner and it's a smooth rounded body is made of aluminium. 
stainless steel and glass the, ca the casing comes in whitish silver gold or a color the company calls the space gray the color of the lead of a pencil with darker gray accents so this is an example for the descriptive because it describes aspects of the phone it includes details such as the size weight and material but if we look here at this example so you just brought home a shiny new smartphone with a smooth glass screen the size of your palm the first thing you would want to do when you're purchasing a new cell is buy a case cracking your screen is an awful feeling and protection is inexpensive when you compare it to the costs of a new phone so this example is not really a descriptive style or is not written in a descriptive style even though this example uses adjectives you can tell that this is not an example of descriptive writing you can tell that this is not an example of descriptive writing because the purpose is not to describe the phone it's to persuade you to buy a case the next style of writing is a persuasive style in a persuasive writing it tries to bring other people around to your point of view Persuasive writing's main purpose is to convince. Unlike expository writing, persuasive writing contains the opinions of the author. It's often used in letters of complaint, advertisements, or commercials. The key points. Persuasive writing is equipped with reasons, arguments, and justifications. In persuasive writing, the author takes a stand and asks you to agree with his or her point of view. It often asks for readers to do something about the situation. This is called a call to action. This is an example here. Following the 2012 Olympic Games hosted in London, the UK Trade and Investment Department reported a 9.9 billion boost to the economy. Although it's expensive to host the Olympics, if done right, they can provide, re they can provide real jobs and economic growth. The city should consider placing a bet to host the Olympics. So this is a persuasive writing because the author has a belief that the city should consider placing a bet to hold the Olympics and is trying to convince others to agree. But here this is not a correct example. According to legend, the Olympics were founded by Hercules. Now almost 100 countries participate in the games with over 2 million people attending. So cities from Boston to Hamburg begin considering their bet to be a whole city more than 10 years in advance. So all of these statements are facts, therefore it's expository. To be persuasive writing, you must have an opinion that you're trying to persuade, to you trying to persuade people off. Then of course you will support that opinion with evidence. The last style is the narrative style. A narrative tells a story. There will usually be characters and dialogue. Narrative writing's main purpose is to tell a story. The author will create different characters and tell you what happens to them. Sometimes the author writes from point of view of one of the characters. This is known as first point or first person narration. Novels, short stories, novellas, poetry, and biographies can all fall in the narrative writing style. Simply, narrative writing answers the question, what happened then? The key points. A person tells a story or event. The narrativist style has characters and dialogue. It has definite and logical beginnings, intervals, and endings. It often has situations like actions, motivational events, and disputes or conflicts with their eventual solutions. Here is an example. I don't think that's a good idea, said Rosa. You never used to be such a girl, retorted Orin, pushing open the door. Reluctantly, Rolf followed. So this is a narrative because it's telling a story. There are different characters and a plot. However, this one is not correct. Cutting edge haunted house holds the Guinness World Record for the largest haunted house on earth. It's located in a district in Fort Worth, Texas. The haunted house takes an hour to complete winding through horrific scenes. So why this would serve as a worthy setting for a story, it would need a plot before it could be called a narrative. So the conclusion, 
These are the four different types of writing that aren't generally used. There are many subtypes of writing that may fall in any of these categories. A writer or a writer must know all these styles in order to identify the purpose of his or her own writing. Now it's your time to choose. What type of writing style do you prefer to use? Is it expository, descriptive, persuasive, or narrative? Thank you for watching.